Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back with another auction haul. This is an auction that I rarely go to. It was in uh, sort of the country, but it was more of like the stuff that I tend to stay away from, the more hoity-toity stuff like the really expensive glassware and the primitives and all of that because it just goes for way too much money over here to make any money selling online with it. But I was able to find some items and uh, let's jump right on in. Uh, first thing I got, well not the first thing, but one of the things that I got at the auction were these picture frames. And look here, here's my, my tickets. I'm trying to find the right one because that's just the way I'm doing it. Um, okay, I don't know. Okay, yeah, picture frames, a dollar. So, these are some old frames. This one is really nice. They, there's some cracking on here, but it's just a really cool old frame. I will put this in the booth and uh, probably put, you know, like eight to $12 on this one. This one right here is also a really nice old frame. Probably 12 dollars to 15 on this one but light is weird there we go and then this is a mirror which has like an I think it's called an OG style OGE -E style frame and the mirror I don't know probably 10 bucks on it in the booth so that was nice next thing I bought where are these two clocks? I really like this one. It, um, okay, so it doesn't have like a name on it or anything. I don't really know much about it other than the fact that I looked through the grill in the back here and I shined a light and it's made um, by the Lux Clock Company, L-U-X and Gosh, I forgot the name, but it, it's um, like a family business and it has a name involved in there, like somebody's name. But anyways, can't find a lot about it online. I have not found this exact clock or anything really close to it online. It has a timer that you can set for up to four hours. And uh, when it goes off, it just like rings a bell on the inside. It's electric. There's the plug. Yeah, and I don't know much about it, but it is very, it's very nice shape. It works really good and I love the retro look to it. So I got that clock, and then I got this one here. It's also a plug-in clock, much older, and it's from England. This is an England plug. I went ahead and ordered on eBay a set of um, converter plugs so that I can uh, see if this works, but I thought it was really cool. I love this glass. I think that's like a porcelain face or a milk glass face. Uh, Ferranti made in England so I'll find out once I get that adapter if it works or not and here's the back of it so I just I think this is a really cool looking clock um, I expect to sell this one over here for probably about 40 and whether or not this one works or not 20 to 30 on that one um, I also got this bowling pin I think I think I paid, oh, I paid $4 for it, but it's a really nice wood solid bowling pin. And uh, I will put this in my booth. It used, you know, my booth used to be an old uh, bowling alley. So I like to pick up stuff like this uh, when I can. So I don't know what I'm gonna put on it. Probably 20 bucks. Yeah, probably 20. It's a really nice, it's a really nice wood pin. Um, I found this really pretty piece of carnival glass. I cannot figure out the maker of this. And um, I will do some more research on it, but I haven't honestly had a lot of time to do research on this stuff. I'm trying to get all my videos done because I need to clean and get listing because I've got a lot of stuff to list. So I will look that up later, but if anybody happens to know um, what this pattern is or the maker just let me know in the comments below but uh has like a star pattern in the bottom 
and it's like an amethyst color. There is a small chip in it that I did not notice, and it is, where is it? Right here. It's right there, underneath that piece. So you can't, I couldn't see it whenever I was looking through these at the stuff. But anyway, I paid only, um, I think I paid $4 for it. No, I paid $5 for that, which is outstanding. And I'll probably sell it for at least 30, probably 40. Um, but yeah, I also got this carnival glass hen on a nest in really nice shape. And it is a clear glass base. Really pretty. And I expect to sell this for, um, whoa, <laughs> uh, 30. And um, I forgot, let's see, what did I pay for him or her? Uh, well. Hmm. I think I want to say like seven dollars. I want to say that. So good. Now these two things here actually came kind of bundled together with the light bright. <clears throat> I actually bought the group f just for the light bright, and I paid four dollars. So I got these two plus the light bright. Now these. Uh, I think I could sell these for probably about 10 bucks a piece, but these are made in the 60s, and there is the um, Roman numeral MCM LXV, and they've got like, it says the Friendly Folk of Gruesome Mansion, and there's these characters on there. It's one of those pinball, handheld pin, pinball games, and they're just a duplicate set, so I can easily sell the pair of those. Or, I mean, sell them each, quantity two. Um, now, the thing with the Light Bright, these will sell easily for $50 online. I normally buy them for about a dollar or less just at yard sales, and I've sold three of them already. So, uh, this will be the fourth that I've sold. And yeah, very cool. I, so, I spent $4, and I'll mm, make at least $50. I got another Atlanta. Um, thermos lunchbox and this one I paid $4 for more more than I normally spend hey more than I normally spend but it includes the thermos inside here and I don't ever really find a thermos so I went ahead and paid up for it I think with the thermos I can make $30 for that okay where am I at Okay, last but not least, the glasses. So here's what I did. Oh, that came with something else. Not really that exciting. I'll put that in the booth for like two or three dollars. Um, okay, the glasses. Uh, they did choice first, choice of glass, and I went ahead and got the Superman for a dollar. And he's really only worth like maybe, oh boy, I can't remember now. I think it's like $12. And then the rest of these I got for a grand total of $3. So total four bucks for all of these glasses. Now I've got an Annie glass. This is not really worth as much as I thought it would be. $5 and it's from Swenson's, 1982. But we have here a phone home glass. This is worth $12 by itself. And then we've got the Flintstone glasses. The one that I have the most Lux selling is actually the drive-in movie one and I think it sells for about eight to ten dollars so I've pretty much got one of each of those um, and the, they're already photographed I just have to update my quantity I've got a hamburglar glass which would go for about eight to eight to ten dollars another camp Snoopy glass I think that's about an eight dollar glass and this doesn't really sell probably a four or five dollar glass so I think I've got about $40 of glasses right here for $3. But that is it, that's the haul. Uh, not a whole lot, this was 
one of those auctions where I was just trying to scrape whatever I could because everything was going for more than it should for the the, res the average reseller. Uh, it was mostly a lot of just buyers that were, were willing to pay retail. But thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below what you thought about those. I really enjoy the clocks. The carnival pieces are great. Love that light bright. So I think I did pretty good. It was a, it was a long auction, uh, over five hours, I think, that we were there. Um, but we had nothing else to do on a Saturday. That tells you how depressing my life is. <laughs> I'm joking. But thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And comment. Bye-bye.